groot deel van de studenten kampt met mentale klachten. We see rates of depression and anxiety and suicide going up. Voelt een poosje thuis zitten omdat ze mentaal zichzelf niet goed voelen. Aanpak van de gezondheidsproblemen. Growing mental health crisis. Ik denk dat je langer gezond kan leven door een goede levensstijl aan te nemen en lekker te sporten en te bewegen. Maar ook wel te genieten van het leven. En uh, ja, ik denk dat je ook mentaal weerbaarder wordt door af en toe met mensen lekker sociale dingen te ondernemen. Dat is een grote vraag. Ik denk dat we allemaal naar één antwoord that that een heel lang en gelukkig leven gaat. En natuurlijk dat dat niet bestaat. I mean, we know that having good physical health is very important, so sleeping enough and exercising, having a good diet. Um, but in my opinion, I think mental health is equally important. And also mental health is very much influencing physical health um, very often. Um, so I think it's very important to advocate for mental health being really important for a healthy life, um, as well as physical um, health in order to have that one answer. <laughs> I think it's important to have a balanced perspective on life. I'd, I'd say that's the most important thing. Try not to take anything to the extremes. Uh, try not to work too hard or rest too hard. Uh, there are a lot of consequences to going far beyond the, the, the median or the mean. So I'd say just uh, try to live life uh, conscientiously and be conscious about your actions and make sure you're aware about what you're doing and why you're doing it. The mental health, uh, you have to take care of it just as much as you take care of your body. And, and for that, you need uh, to develop a certain type of resilience with yourself. You need help, you need to talk to other people. We often tend to depend on other people around us, so friends, family, maybe see a professional. And those are, I think, the two key components of how someone can ensure to live a long and healthy life because you've taken care of yourself and you have lived well with the people around you. Mentally, what you can do is first, you have to surround your um, environment with people that makes you happy, do things that makes you happy, and do things that makes you feel uh, fulfilled. Ja, ik denk dat dan met name uh, mentale gezondheid me wel bezighoudt. Uh, ook omdat je nu steeds meer signalen hoort vanuit het nieuws en vanuit de samenleving in het algemeen dat het met studenten, hè, dus met, leeftijd, met mijn leeftijdsgenoten, uh, qua mentale gezondheid niet zo goed gesteld is. Uh, daarin houden we me zeker bezig en ik denk dat we dan vooral als studenten goed naar elkaar om moeten kijken. When I have new students that start saying it's important that you do good. Um, of course in your studies and that you're happy but also taking a step back because your mental health should be more important than your studies and I think that's very often hard to comprehend as a student but just making that um, an important part as well. Ik hou mij persoonlijk best wel bezig omdat ik uh, relatief in mijn omgeving heb gezien wat uh, met een schaal van mentaal gezondheid wat niet kan zijn. Uh, dus ik ben er zeker ook bewust van het feit dat het ook in sommige plaatsen minder kan gaan. En ik wil mensen ook daar eventueel graag in helpen mocht het met mensen minder gaan. Dus ik denk eigenlijk benauw op dat vlak dat ik uh, ja, studenten daar ook een hart onder in wil insteken. So mental health is a very important thing for me. Because for me it's the most important aspect of my life that um, affects other aspects. For example, if I'm not feeling happy, if I'm feeling depressed, sad or frustrated, then I wouldn't be able to continue my daily life. For example, just read a book or do my assignments. Because when you're not feeling healthy mentally, then it could uh, possibly lead to you not feeling very good physically. So you are lazy and you are unable to do a lot of stuff. So yeah, mental health is very, very important to me. Um, I think mental health is something that's, uh, uh, that's a topic I'm really passionate about. Um, I have tried to pay attention over the past few years of my life to how I treat my own mental health. And uh, it's important to me and I think it should be important to everyone to kind of ensure you're doing well uh, in your mental headspace, in your mental landscape. Um, it's something that I think is one of the cornerstones or the foundations of living a good life. So if you don't have a, a good state, state of mental health, I think it translates into all aspects of your life. 
So I'm studying development of psychology. Um, mental health is a big part of that, looking at influences early on that can influence someone developing mental health issues, um, as well as looking at factors that influence this. So genetics, social environment, um, upbringing, all of these things influence this. So it's a big part of my studies. Gezond is de afgelopen paar jaar best wel een groot ding geweest binnen de EU. Met name in hoe Europa de coronapandemie probeert te bestrijden. So currently I'm studying child and adolescent psychology. So the mental health being discussed in the program is more of a mental health that's uh, evident in children and also adolescents. So we're uh, discussing how this uh, system between the parents, the family interaction and also the school interaction with the teacher, the peers, affects uh, the mental health of a child of, or of an adolescent. Binnen de opleiding zijn we best wel ook bezig met oké, okay, hoe kunnen we mensen gezonder laten leven en moet je eventueel als overheid wel bepalen wat mensen wel en niet mogen doen. Wat, wat wie ze overheid moet zeggen wat jij wel en niet mag doen. Maar anderzijds moet je ze wel niet ook beschermen tegen zichzelf. We explore a lot of the different causalities for different uh, types of mental illnesses and how they're related to each other or to the body. Uh, sometimes we find that even 40 to 60 percentage of uh, your susceptibility or your chances of susceptibility for a mental illness is uh, purely from your genetics. So it helps us understand how much uh, we incorporate into society as like a social stigma and how much is just part of biology. Uh, it helps us approach treatment and how to deal with patients uh, who are going through tough times or bad mental health conditions. And uh, it's a very interesting uh, area of study, right? Now.